Hi, and thank you for joining us for this week's Tech Tips. Today we're going to talk about internet browsers. Uh, the two most common ones, the one that comes standard anyway, is Internet Explorer. It comes pretty much standard on all Microsoft uh, operating systems, such as Windows Vista, Windows XP. Uh, a browser is simply a program that allows you to access the internet. Another common one uh, that's widely used is Mozilla Firefox. I have both of these to set to go to Google as a web page. You can have these set to go uh, pretty much anywhere. Peak.org, msn.com, etc. I'm going to go ahead and close this and switch over to Internet Explorer because that one's a little more widely used. We'll talk about this one uh, for a quick second. Open this up. I also have this home page set for google.com, but as you can see, you can also go to peak.org in the address bar. or msn.com. So while they are different programs, they both have the same essential function and that is to take you to your web pages uh, that you want to go to. Uh, so the next browser I want to talk about is Google Chrome. It's a new up-and-coming browser. It's uh, extremely lightweight which means it doesn't utilize a lot of your computer's uh, hardware which frees up the resources for other things that you might be doing playing solitaire or some other intensive game so to download Google Chrome what you can do is open up Internet Explorer if your home page isn't set to Google in the address bar up here where the HTTP is right here you can just delete everything out of here and just type in google.com which takes you there, which we were already there. In the search bar, type in Google Chrome. The very first link will say Google Chrome, download a new browser. Go ahead and give that a click. In the top right corner, uh, this is a completely free browser, so don't worry about having to pay for it. Uh, click download Google Chrome, download Google Chrome. Um, you do not need to check this box, it is strictly optional. Uh, and go ahead and click accept and install for the terms of service. You can read through them if you'd like. Um, I've never read them personally because well, I'm just too busy. So it'll go through the installation process. Um, it'll ask you if you'd like to import bookmarks, passwords, and other settings from Internet Explorer um, and to add Google Chrome shortcuts to your desktop, quick launch bar, and start menu, etc. You can customize these settings if you'd like to. Uh, it's not really necessary. Uh, you just go ahead and click start Google Chrome. So it'll import everything uh, from your previous browsers. Remember, a browser is just a program. Um, whoops, let me resize this here. Once everything's done being imported from Internet Explorer, Firefox, this will be your home page. Um, just like in Internet Explorer, uh, the home page was google.com, this home page is slightly different. What it has is blocks for your most visited uh, pages. So if I were to go to uh, peak.org and then I was to go to google.com and then I was to go to, go to msn.com and then I was going to close Google Chrome Oops, need to close Internet Explorer open Google Chrome again it has my three most visited pages right here and the list, it'll show up to nine and also show your full history. Uh, this is extremely helpful if you're in a hurry and you just have a few pages that you like to go to. There's no uh, bookmarking, there's no anything fancy or anything difficult for that matter. You simply go to the pages, it determines which ones you go to the most often, and they show up on your home page. Um, Google Chrome, in my opinion, is pretty much the most versatile browser out there at the moment. Um, not only does it have the um, most visited pages, but if you were to bookmark a page, we'll use peak.org as an example, uh, all you need to do is click the star button uh, and the bookmark is added. Here you can edit the name and put it into a specific bookmark folder. Uh, just the standard one is fine. Click close. Now if you'll notice, uh, peak internet is right here. 
as a bookmark. Um, so it's that easy. You just click the star. There's no menu to go into tools and then add to favorites or anything like that. It's very straightforward. Uh, another benefit to Google Chrome is that uh, you can add tabs. So if you click this plus button right here, it'll add a new tab. And this new tab will take you directly back to your uh, most visited pages. So um, we can just click on Google and go to Google, open up a new tab, go to MSN, and we can cycle through these tabs up at the top. Here we have Google, here we have Peak, back to MSN. Hit the X to close a tab, um, and you can even grab a tab and pull it out to make its own new window. Uh, there are many more features on Google Chrome. If you're interested, please check them out. All you need to do is go to google.com, type in Google Chrome features. And if you could spell, uh, which I'm sure you can, I'm not very good at spelling, uh, it would come up with Google Chrome, Chrome features. It uh, has short video clips on all of the very versatile functions of this program. After you've gone through all of these videos, I hope that you'll give Google Chrome a try. It's a very, very handy, very versatile, and very intelligently designed browser. Uh, it's very intuitive. There's no tricky settings. Um, I like it a lot. So that's all the time we have for this week. I hope you enjoyed the introduction to Google Chrome, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.